Welcome to Famous Fortunes. Are you well? <laughs> Are you well today? Are you well? I take it you've all seen the news. I take it you've all seen the news. I I couldn't help but think uh, that... Uh, I couldn't help but think back to the episode on the Meghan Markle court case and episode 318 of Famous Fortunes. Uh, and I I titled that episode Megan to Win Mail on Sunday Appeal question mark. And after after that episode, when I originally did the episode, I thought, oh boy, it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good. Hence why I named the episode as I did. And I have to say that I did review that episode again last night, and I think I did see it on the cards. I was probably being too fair to the too not too fair, but I was trying to be too balanced. I think in the reading, looking back, but it's pretty clear in the cards if you have a look back on that episode that it wasn't looking good for the Mail on Sunday. So, which brings us to our new set of questions. Number number one question on everyone's mind, of course, just what in the f is going on? <laughs> number one question. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the tarot can answer that. We can try, but I think the question is, will it go to the Supreme Court? That's the question now. I think the the arguments put forth by the Mail on Sunday and the evidence put forth uh, is, I think it's interesting evidence, let's say, and I think many commentators, you know, real commentators on the issue thought it was interesting. So let that all be known. It's all getting very serious, but let's, <laughs> let's, let's just have a look. Uh, number one question... Number one question, was it a an honest and fair decision by the judges? Honest and fair by the, the three of them, the three of the, uh, the the judges there. Was it an honest and fair... Do they really believe that the Mail on Sunday published a few more sentences than was necessary and thus uh, breached the privacy of the Duchess of Sussex? Well, let's have a look. Was it honest and fair at least? At least, you know, I mean, people people can arrive at conclusions, but if it's honest and fair, at least there's a... You know, at least you can sort of go, okay, they really did believe that. At least. In any event, let's go and have a look. Was it honest and fair? And I'm only going to read the energies here on the cards, of course. That's all I can do. So, if you have a question for a future video, let it be known. If you'd like to support the channel, join Team Famous Fortunes, go ahead and do that. If if you have a question for Team Tarot coming up on the Full Moon Christmas Edition, let it be known in the comments. Was it a fair? Was it a fair decision? Did they really believe that she was wronged? If you like, cards are hot. What do we have? The magician. Oh boy. Seven of pence. Three of pence. What are, what's up with all the pence? Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. Underlying energy here. The Eight of Pence. So a lot of pentacle energy here. Second underlying cards, more pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, if that's up your alley. <laughs> the last, the next card on the, on the table is actually Justice, which I find uh, interesting. So we're going to include Justice because we're talking about justices. So you would expect perhaps to see that card poke its head up, and here it is. Here it is, poking its... Rearing its head. Rearing its head. Rearing its head. I need tea. I've been drinking a lot of tea today. Just, you know, of course, cheers to you if you're drinking tea or coffee or whatever you're drinking. Uh, let it be known. It's good. Was it a fair decision? Right, well, pentacles were standing. Let's talk about the pentacles for a moment, and then we'll get to the magician. Pentacles were standing. I don't know why there's so many pentacles on the card. It looks like they had to deliberate here. I did see, I did say, or I did see in an episode of the one I mentioned, actually, uh, 318, that I saw the five of wands on the card. I didn't know it was three judges at the time. I did leave it in the comments saying I don't think the judges were in agreement. It looks like the judges here... They looked at the case. Uh, 
Oh boy, you know, they've looked at the case, they've heard the appeal argument, and you can see it here. There's a couple of things I don't like. The Magician and the Knight of Swords. I wonder, did was this a rushed... Did they Were they hasty? Did they make this a hasty call on this? Oh boy. Yeah, maybe they did. Maybe they did, in terms of the energies. Knight of Swords, hasty. A hasty call, they rushed into this decision. The Magician is... Not good. <laughs> Let's say, it's not underhanded. I don't think it's an underhanded energy. And this certainly isn't coming from anyone else. Let's say. So it's... it's, But it does seem that they have... The Magician would suggest that they have created this outcome in some way. That's that's what... You know, and, and whatever that means. Whatever that means. Uh, but more than just arriving at its natural conclusion. I think from the beginning, because this, this card indicates in its position that it's in, it indicates there's a certain, um, let's say there's a certain beginning to the, uh, at the beginning of all this, it looks like there was a goal in mind that they wanted to achieve from the beginning. That's what I'm seeing on the cards with the Magician. Okay, now I would, if I saw something different, I would say it, but I am seeing that it looks like they were quick to arrive here. Quick to arrive at their decision. That may have been a foregone conclusion. So, hey, yikes. Okay, I mean, all fun and games today. Okay, what, let's ask the question. If that truly is what we're seeing on the cards, and I really don't want to see any of this on the cards. Who wants to see this on the cards? It's... In any event, um, I might have to drink something a bit stronger than just tea today. Well, it is Friday. So in any event, in any event, if you're drinking watching this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave it in the comments what you are drinking. The fancier, the better, but bonus points. Bonus points if it's cheap and nasty. So good on you. Let's, let's have a look now. Why? The question is why. A couple of things. There's three things that I remember. I want to share this with you. We're going to look at why. We're going to look at are they going to appeal. Again, Supreme Court. We're going to look at that. Three things that I remember. from the. We looked at this in a couple of episodes. The very first episode, looking back, I saw that the court case was going to be delayed and we weren't going to get to a verdict for some time. With the Three of Swords. I remember that specifically. I did also remember that the royal family looked like they were involved somehow. Uh, and they did come up as the underlying energy, interestingly enough. Yeah, in in a couple of the spreads, and I believe in both readings we did it, definitely the second, because I'm looking at the cards right now, uh, but even in the first, I, and particularly the first is what I remember, I did see the royal family were involved. Now, I know I've read comments on channels, not my own, but I've read comments saying, well, I mean, how can people say the royal family were involved? Well, you know, I don't know. But that's what I saw in the cards. I think the royal families had a hand in this. Now, did they have a hand in it and it backfired? That's possible. It's possible. We're going to ask why in a minute. We may see some clarity on this. The third thing that was I did recall uh, was that we saw a tower card for Megan uh, during the appeal. And that certainly, that certainly we did see a tower moment for Megan. Uh so maybe it was for the trial to be specifically. There was a tower moment there, and we we did see that her reputation. Uh, let's say there was some questions put to her reputation. Uh, <laughs> I will leave it at that. Uh, in any event, lastly, it didn't look good. Hence, Megan to win Mail and Sunday Appeal was the title of the episode. So I wanted to give you a bit of a recap as to where I'm at. Just the you know, as a reader, some of the things that I recall seeing um, with previous readings, putting it all together into a coherent story. But let's ask now, because life is, life is complex. And to reduce any situation or event down to one simple, one single factor is often a very flawed analysis in any, in any area of life. One single thing we want, we always want to, you know, that's, that's kind of the way, isn't it? We always want to reduce down to one single thing. 
uh, which is easier to grasp, but sometimes the whole is more difficult to grasp. So we're looking here, we're seeing the magician, we're seeing, well, we got, I'm asking the question, was this, was it always going in this direction from the beginning? Uh, you know, Justice, what was, what was the first Justice's name? Uh, someone commented that, Warby, I think it was, someone commented he received a royal, I don't know, royal promotion in some respects, uh, after the case. So, you know, for this case to start and they've got the end in mind, <laughs> makes you wonder. So in any event, let's ask. What, what, what? We want to know more about this magician card in terms of what was the outcome that they wanted to create? Why was it the outcome that they wanted to create? Why? Let's dig deeper. Let's, let's see if we can get the story on the cards as to what exactly is going on. Cards are hot. Bloody hell, the magician. <laughs> again, again. Now, if you've, if you've watched this episode from beginning to this point, then you've just seen something very amazing, as have I. So I, I, I marvel at this sometimes. That's why I, I, we try to do these episodes in one take. Not editing the shuffling or anything like that, because it's unbelievable. The magician, again, comes out in the same position, on the same topic, back to back. So let's see what else we have on the cards. That's an amazing, that's an amazing thing we're witnessing right now. Just want to put it here. King of Wands, oh boy. Death, that's the card I recall seeing from the very first episode. It looks like they wanted to put an end to this. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they wanted to put it to bed. Right. Page of Swords. I think they, what's the story here? People in high places wanted it to go away. And that was the reason for... They just do not want this to go to, um, let's say, to trial, I don't think. That's the reason. They just, they want this, they want this done, dead, done and dusted. Now, who wants it dead? King of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Well, there's... King of Wands, I, you know... I have to say it, has been Prince William for many, 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 many episodes now. A long time now. A long time now. Knight of Pentacles. There's a prince here on the cards. Giving it a rest. Page of Swords. So, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that there, there has, there is an agenda to kill this case. They wanted to kill the case. That's it. That's, that's it. That, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, hey? I mean, what else can I say? A death card's right in the middle, smack bangarune in the middle. Now, it wouldn't be, in wouldn't it be interesting to see the original cards from the original episode? Oh, here we go. Is this it? Is this it? So, there was a couple of episodes. Will the royal family intervene in Meghan Markle's court case? Episode number 41 of Famous Fortunes. Oh boy, we got the death card and we got the page of swords. And we got the four of swords. Yeah, the royal family killed it, guys. The royal family killed, pulled the plug on the case. That's my opinion as a tarot reader. It's just one man's opinion, right? It's tarot. All right, get around it. Okay, get around it. Yeah. So check that one out. Episode 41 of Famous Fortunes. Check it out. It's a shorter episode. I'm going to leave that. Actually, I'm going to leave the link in the description. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to leave the link in the description and so check it out. Yeah, I think the royal family have pulled the plug on this. They 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 terminated it. It's gone. 
And we're actually getting a hint on here. You know, that episode we saw the King of Swords. Now we're seeing the King of Wands. So, interesting. Interesting. Charles, William, that type of thing. You're gone. You're gone. So, there, I, I think this is why... This is why the the most let me let me let you in on a little secret, okay? And I'm not just saying this because I'm speculating, okay? I'm not saying this because I'm speculating, but I'm saying this from a place of more than spec, just mere speculation, okay? The most, some of the most well-to-do, wealthiest, and most powerful people in society. Some of them, they do employ, and they do have a very keen interest in divination and psychics and this type of thing, as we all do, as we all do. But some, just remember, it's not just, you know, the average, humble people of the world. It's not just, you know, it's not just, let's say, us. Perhaps many, perhaps people who, you know, are watching this video, perhaps you are one of these people that you wouldn't jump in the comments and go, you know what, you know, <laughs> you wouldn't brag about where your station in life is. Uh, you wouldn't brag, but uh, you know, you know, you know, you know. So, you know, and I know. But, uh, you know, for those that don't know, well, now you know. Uh, this is, a, this, and why am I saying this? Because this is sometimes, to get down to these things, you need to... The Mail on Sunday, obviously, uh, I mean, they're, they're playing it out in the in the real world. And we're going to ask in a moment, are they going to go to the Supreme Court? But I would, if I was reading cards for the Mail of Sunday, I would say to them, I think you, you don't know who you're, uh, you don't know who you're up against, I think would be what I would say. It's like, I'm not sure if you're aware, you know, you need to know who you're actually going to court against. What is going on here? Because I, I, you know, people are going to say to me, there's no way you can say that the royal family are involved in this and squashing this case. Well, check out episode 41 of Famous Fortunes. All right. And you'll see the same cards, essentially. With the magician, because we're asking about the judge's intention to make it go away from the beginning. They had no... There was never going to be a... <laughs> there's never going to be a trial. <laughs> there was never going to be a trial because that wasn't on the agenda. But, you know, they did listen to the argument, all the rest of it, and of course, uh, gave their judgments, judgment, I suppose. So, in any event, it's been a lot, there's a lot of commentary here, there's a lot, a lot that's led to this point, and I strongly suggest, it was one of the earliest episodes of Famous Fortunes, episode number 41. Some say episode, some say the number 41 is very, um, is a very significant number. Uh, I'm not making, uh, I'm not making terribly strong connections to that number in, for that particular episode, but it is interesting. Now let's ask, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. I think we've had our meat and potatoes. Let's have dessert. Are they going to, uh, are they going to go to the Supreme Court? Are the Mail on Sunday going to take this to the Supreme Court? And if they are, we're going to look a little sneak peek at what's going to happen. Will the Mail on Sunday take this to the Supreme Court? At the time of this episode... I have not seen in the news that they had said one way or the other. So I just want you to full disclosure of what I know about the subject. Will the Mail on Sunday take this case to the Supreme Court? Cards are hot. Cards are hot. Will this be our final reading for the episode? Two of Cups. Are they going to take this to the Supreme Court? Seven of Wands. Four of Pentacles. 
the Emperor, and the Three of Pentacles. The underlying energies, the Ace of Cups, and the Tower. Interesting cards indeed. Ooh, this, oh, these are interesting. These are interesting. There's a, there is a chance here. There is a chance they could take this to the Supreme Court. In fact, the Three of Pentacles, you could argue, is... Uh, yes. The Supreme Court is actually the... In, in legal... Just, just open the door to the subconscious for a moment. Jump in there. The Emperor, in terms of the court system, is the Supreme Court. All right, back out. <laughs> back out again. Just doing it. Jip in there and jump back. So the Emperor is the Supreme Court... Uh, the Three of Pentacles is them in that Supreme Court. The f the Four of Pentacles is interesting. It looks like... That would, you know, at first glance it would suggest no. But then you've got here the Seven of Wands, which is them wanting to overcome... Stand their ground. I think... Mm, four of Pentacles, interesting. What meaning do you have for us, Four of Pentacles? We definitely... We have definitely uh, tapped into something. I don't like the Ace of Cups and the Tower together as the underlying energy. Not, not good cards. Not good cards. Mm. I'm not sure. The, the Four of Pentacles, it, to me it looks like they are not willing to... I think they're not willing to, to pay... The Duchess of Sussex. I think that there's a real reluctance. If there's... I think they have to, do they? Or there's something there that they, they just don't want to concede. I think that's what we might be seeing. I think these cards on whole speak to the fact that they will... That there's a strong possibility they're going to take this to the Supreme Court. Strong possibility. Two of Cups. Are they going to partner with someone? That's interesting. The Ace of Cups and the Tower. I wonder how this is going to go for them. Do you want to see? Do you want to see? This one's this one's for the, the, the real Famous Fortunes fans. This bonus reading. I want to see. So we're, we're in this together. Okay. We're in this together. Will a... A, let's say, will a petition of sorts through the Supreme Court be successful to... Get their trial. Remember, they just want a trial, don't they? I mean, this is quite something. They just want a trial. Will the Supreme Court bid be successful if they go for it? are hot. Will it be successful? Five of Cups. Yikes. Two of Cups. There it is again. There's that Two of Cups. That partnership. Six of Cups. Five of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. You know what? I This, this doesn't look good. Looks like Megan may win again. That's what I see. It'll be a loss for them. Disappointing outcome. It's going to be a disappointing outcome. Megan may win again in the Supreme Court. And that's, you know, I just don't think there's any way forward for them. I don't think that that's... Oh, boy. Yep, that's what I'm seeing on the cards. Man, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fight. But I don't think it's going to be successful. So let that all be known. I mean, what can I say? Now we know. Now we know, hey? So yes, Famous Fortunes, episode number 41. Will the royal family intervene in Meghan Markle's court case? That is a very, very <laughs> strong tarot coincidence. So I'll leave that in the description below. So you can, perhaps it's time to review that video. If you haven't seen it, if you're new to the channel, 
I know many of you have been with me since the, the real beginning, and we've been together on this uh, Famous Fortunes journey for some time now, and it's been the best ever. That, I can tell you, having a good time, so let that be known. Obviously, you are as well, otherwise you probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> so, good, that's good. Uh, very good, we have a good time together. So, in any event, uh, in any event, cards are good, looking good, comments, check out the episode uh, 41 and let leave your thoughts in the comments. I will pin it and we'll have a good time. So, in any event, I will see you in the comment section.